guys went out today. Uh, it was a little difficult, some of the elements today with the wind. You know, again, we've only been out three times this, this, this spring with the conditions that we've had. Um, so we didn't punt it quite as well or field it quite as well. But uh, those are, uh, you know, acclimatization things relative to um, my evaluation. Um, you know, saw some good things. You know, we'll have to watch the film, really. It's, it's one of those things where I, I, I really can't get into anything in depth. You probably saw more than I did. I was trying to work on the sideline, talking to players. So, um, you know, again, from my perspective, I wanted to make sure that any time we get here at Notre Dame that our kids get a chance to get a feel of game-like situations. So, you know, coming out of the tunnel, halftime, um, making a, you know, giving the opportunity to talk to the guys as a group and then going back out. So we accomplished all those things. So Question. was uh, the Lewis next two point conversion an example of Chuck Martin's brilliant call of playing? I think you would have to put it all on Chuck. You know, uh, Chuck will have to answer the questions regarding Lou. Um, Lou, I lost the bet to Lou Nix. <laughs> so um, we had a bet. I lost it. And uh, the wager was that if, um, if I lost the bet, that I would have to put together an offensive play for him. And so I paid off my wager. And, and what exactly? Did you do though? I mean, what did you? Lou and I had a personal bet on uh, some academics, okay. and um, he uh, he uh, he surprised me, and so I uh, I paid up, and uh, he said I said what do you want? And I figured he'd want something, but he came up I want to score a touchdown in the spring game. As you know, we had a hard time scoring touchdowns in the spring game, and I didn't think that was going to come to reality. We tried uh, a couple of times uh, right before the half. We had an opportunity, and uh, we couldn't get the ball close enough. Uh, we had to settle some field goals. So, you know, when Malik hit it, we changed the play to a two-point play, and uh, we're able to get that one off. And if you had won the bet, you would have gotten. Uh, I would have gotten Lewis Nix to play for 67 plays, at minimum every game. So. Um, he uh, he's just a great personality, and the guy's got a, a kick out of it. I thought it was a, a good way to finish up the spring. How do you think Ronnie Stanley did stepping in playing guards? I like the way he competed. I'll have to, you know, again, um, make certain that I, I don't say too much about it. But what I did like is, is going in at guard, you know, and having that flexibility to play. He just played tackle most of the time. So the guard and tackle combination uh, has been good for us. And, and I, I think he competed pretty well. Brian, just at first glance, the offense not having scored a touchdown to the end there. Any initial thoughts on what you saw out there, why things maybe didn't go smoothly on that side? Yeah, I know. It's 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 really, you know, you're not game planning. You, you know, you're trying to stay away from doing some things. Um, so it's not really an indication. I, I think if there's any concern, not concerns, if there's anything that I would like to do better is, is to make certain that, you know, we don't fall back into um, some of the mistakes we made last year. And, and I thought we, we at times, we, we fell back into some of the mistakes we made last year offensively. Uh, look, I think today, spring game, I, I don't know if we went 13 games and had you know, third and longs like we did today. I mean, we had some third and 20s and 30s. That can't happen. And so uh, I'm not happy about that. But by and large, you know, a lot of them are correctable. Brian, you lost two running backs to graduation. Could you talk about how Atkinson and McDaniel played today, in your opinion? I thought they played you know, and competed. Um, you know, George, uh, you could see, is, is a big physical kid. I mean, he, he ran hard. Uh, he's, he's got, obviously, some, uh, some speed. We've seen that. Uh, we, we just got to get his pads down a little bit. Carlo reminded him uh, that he should run a little bit lower at times, and I thought that was a great teaching point for him. You know, Cam made a great catch coming out of the backfield uh, on a third down situation. I thought he ran the ball effectively. So, you know, those are two really good backs for us. And, uh, and I think Will, Will uh, made a nice catch on a seam throw that um, he's got to make. I thought that was, you know, uh, positive for him and just got to continue to develop. And you talked about not regressing in terms of mistakes. We obviously don't see nearly as much as you do, but your impressions on the spring Everett had and the kind of growth he had. He had a good spring, you know, uh, overall really liked his development in the spring uh, and you know one practice or one game you know format is is not going to take away from the kind of spring he had but I think it's a good reminder for him he's still learning and uh, he'll get be better because of it.
Or to your right, uh, I know you were only outside a few times, but the punting game, from what you saw during the spring, was it as inconsistent as it was today? Well, you know, Kyle, you know, Kyle's moving into that position, and the reality of it is, we got to continue to work with him. Um, you know, and I think the wind, obviously, and being outdoors is is going to be. Uh, part of our consideration, but we got to get better there. There's no question. You know, TJ lost the ball as well. Um, I'd like to uh, leave the spring feeling a little bit better about it, but we got a lot of work to do there. Coach, with so many options at linebacker, inside and outside, what's going to separate the core of guys between now and, and August? Um, I, I don't know that there's going to be a separation. I think they're all going to play. You know, I think they're all going to play significant roles. Um, you know, I thought Jared did a nice job today, uh, Carlo, and, and then when Danny Fox is in there, you know, those are the three guys that, you know, obviously are going to get a lot of the work uh, inside. You know, Joey Schmidt had a nice interception. You know, Kendall's running around out there. He's very active. But those three guys are going to get a lot of the work. Will the rest, I mean, how will the rest fit in? How can you see the rest fitting in right now? Oh, I think they're all fit in. I, I think there's just, you know, there's not going to be enough reps for everybody. But we'll have very good depth at that position. If we lose a guy, they're going to step in and, and do a nice job for us. So, you know, you go through 13 games, you never really have them all 100%. You know, you're going to lose a guy here or there. And uh, we were fortunate last year we didn't lose Manti for any games. But um, all those guys will be prepared and, and play championship football. Fine. What would you like about CJ this spring is he maybe surprise you guys with what he might be able to give you in the fall? Um, I, you know, he's just, you know, a very athletic kid. Um, he, he didn't fight the ball. You know, it seemed to come fairly natural. But, you know, he's very raw. You know, he's got a lot of work to do. But um, we feel very confident that if we stick with him and continue to work with him, that, that we, can, um, we can see a finished product as we move through the season. I don't think it's going to be, boom, come Temple, he's, he's where we want him to be. But he's, he's got a lot of really um, high-end traits in terms of speed and size. And, uh, you know, he's got to run better routes. You know, he's, he's got to track the ball consistently. But I, I'd rather work with a guy like that um, that has those, those traits and, and just know that he's work in progress. Brian, red zone offense today down the middle. Red zone offense today still didn't get in the end zone. Have you seen the progression that you've maybe wanted to see this spring in that area? Well, we really didn't have a red zone offense today. You know, we just ran plays. So, you know, there was nothing that, that we said, okay, when we get into this area, we, we were just running plays. Sometimes we were just trying to get that clock running. So, um, there, you know, I would not evaluate this, this game and, and look at issues in the red zone. We spent uh, a lot of time in situational red zone um, during the spring practices and didn't call any of those plays today. Brian, up front. Just small picture with Everett, his biggest jump this spring was what? And then big picture, what do you need from these guys over the next three months when you're not able to be hands on with them until yeah. August? Well, Eric's knowledge base of the offense and, and the things that he needs to use to run the offense efficiently, uh, he's got all that down. He probably has a little bit too much knowledge, and we've got to pull back some of those things. You know, he's got so much going on in his head. He wants to do too much. Uh, it took him away from some progression reads today that he didn't make those mistakes last year as a freshman. So, you know, it, it, it's a great – we got a lot to teach off it, and it's going to be very positive for Everett. Um, and the second question was? Over the next three months. Yeah. Yeah, and it's interesting. I, I brought that up to the team is that, you know, uh, you know, we'll meet with the team Monday night, and we, we, we turn them over to Coach Longo. He'll go um, and take the team over the next two weeks uh, to a segment that we use. Now that we've got our base down, we go to speed school. So our kids will, will focus on some speed development for two weeks. Uh, that'll take us through our exams. Uh, they're in an active rest period. Uh, and then we work hard at, you know, that, that, that coat of armor, that strength that, that prevents injuries. And then uh, middle of June, we'll begin seven on sevens and, you know, one on ones. And those guys are going to have to take a jump. And that's where you develop your leaders. That, that's when those guys take over. Last year's team did a great job during the summer, and they're going to they're gonna be challenged to do the same. Brian, right here in front. Just a, a follow up on the quarterback situation. Between now and August 31st, could there be something that would change the pecking order, if you will, of what we saw today, one through four? Or 
do you feel pretty solid with it? The no, way? there won't be any changes until we get to camp, if there is any changes at all. So, you know, it would have to be coaches' eyes on them, you know, in terms of um, if there were going to be any changes. Coach, at the end of last spring, you mentioned that you felt good going into the season because your strength was on both sides of the line. Feel the same way this year? That yeah, I feel pretty good been. about that. Yeah, no question. I think. You know, uh, if the, if you know Chris Watt wasn't in there today, you know, uh, I think we'd get a little bit more of a sense. But um, I think up front we're we're pretty good on both sides of the ball. So yes, I, I feel pretty good about that. Co Coach, at the beginning of spring, you talked about developing an identity. Did you see anything developing out of the spring so far? Yeah, I think it's a, a, a very confident group of guys. You know, they've got a lot of confidence in themselves. They believe that they're going to be successful. Um, so I would say that the identity of this group right now is that um, uh, they're, they're a confident group. Now, we're going to have some tough times, and we'll see how we bounce back from those. And the, the, that's really the measure, right? You know, everybody's good when they're 0-0. Um, but I like their confidence. And, and with that, Tom, it's important to know that um, they haven't slacked off from the little things. So they've combined both those things, which gives me a comfort level that they understand what it takes to be successful. Oh!